Cora, let's play Call of the Wild. Okay. What's the animal, Sunny? A deer. Mom, where are you? Mom. Eep, 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 eep. Eep, 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 eep. Are we right? Okay, I think you accidentally pushed the elephant button. Can I you think you accidentally again? pressed pregnant lady giving birth button. That's a deer. That's a deer? Yeah, oh yeah, I do hear it. Mom! Let's Did you get shot? Let's hear your best sound. Whoa! Nature, Nature show! show. This episode's brought to you by Wendy's new Giant Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. It's everything you love about the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger made giant. Available for a limited time only. Hey, hey guys. guys! I'm Courtney. I'm Olivia. And welcome, welcome back, back to Whoa Nature, Nature Show! Show. We're going to a place called Animal Tracks. Animal Tracks is a sanctuary for animals and exotic animals yeah. too. Stacy, mother nature of Animal Tracks, is gonna take us and she's gonna show us around. Today we're gonna meet an animal called a Mara. M-A-R-A. Do you know anything about Maras? I think I actually saw something on Tumblr about these and people were freaking out, but I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. I don't know anything okay. about Maras. Well, so. I mean, we could try. Let's do our three, three things, things we think, think we know, know about, about Maras. Maras. Uh, they make teenage girls lose their Whoa! on the internet for some reason. <laughs> Second thing is that I think they're cute. I mean, it's a good thing to look at life that way. Just assume they're cute. Yeah. Third thing Third is that thing. I think they like to eat food. Same. Yeah. All right, shall we go then? Let's go. All right, uh, which one is it? P1. Okay, P1. Oh, you got it. So how's your day? Yeah, I met a girl named Tommy. That's odd. She's cool though. Oh, okay. She offered me money. Whoa! Thanks for having us here at Animal Tracks. Yeah, this is so welcome. cool. So what's Animal Tracks all about? Well, we're an exotic animal rescue that takes in exotic animals that need a home for a variety of reasons. Some like him, his mama got hurt, he needed a little help. Oops. Others, you know, people have them, they shouldn't have them, and so they come here. And we're gonna share them with you today. This place is wonderful. Well, yeah, I you. can't wait to see what you have for us. So what are we gonna see today? I have something really fun, an animal that not everybody knows about. It's called Amara. Amara? You ever heard of Amara? I know Amari. I know Mariah Carey. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. I'm very embarrassed. All right, so let's go so well, I could leave this awkward situation. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, what the heck are these things? Oh my gosh, they <laughs> look like little rabbits. These are Maras, ladies. And Maras are rather unique. They'd be found in South America, places like Patagonia. We have something in our hands called monkey chow. Monkey chow is a potassium-based biscuit, which is really good for them, and it's good for their teeth, because these are rodents. And rodents have incisors. 40% of all mammals are rodents, so they have to constantly be wearing those down, and these monkey chows are a great way to do it. You need what? You want more? Super cool animal. They popcorn when they're excited. What, do you, what does that mean? You know when popcorn pops? Yeah. When they get really excited, that's what they do. They pop. Oh, they like good, like a pop? Yes. Like they, they, they themselves physically they pop. They physically pop. Wow. They look like little guinea pig deer. They do. And you know, they have this funny little tail. I'm not sure what purpose it serves, but it sticks straight out. It just looks good. It's kind of like when guys wear fedoras. <laughs> or trilbies. <laughs> trilbies. This is the bottom of the food chain oh, in Patagonia. Okay. Foxes would eat them. Uh -huh. And so that's why they have to be so lightning fast. Now this is an animal that thrives because of another animal, the armadillo. The armadillo oh, yeah. digs a tunnel and this animal steals it. And this animal will raise large, large families in those armadillo homes. How many? I would guess I've seen 20 maras in the wow. same hole. Big family groups. And that's because as a rodent, you gotta have a lot of offspring because a lot of your offspring are probably gonna be eaten as a food source. They Can be... you do an impression of Amara's voice? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a constipated Mara. Okay. But um, this Mara, <laughs> very much like a guinea pig noise, they're part of the guinea pig family. Mm -hmm. So they're the middle version. There's the capybara, the Mara, and the guinea pig. Look at her, she's all over. She's like, here, let me do your nails. I don't have any. I'm gonna chew off your buttons. They're a little invasive, don't you think? Yeah, yeah it's, they're, it's they're, like me with oh, like anyone. Do you, oh my do you have more treats? Stuff a treat in their mouth I so they have can no stop more chewing treats. on you. These guys were bottle raised. Mm -hmm. We got them very young. Someone had them as pets, got caught, 
and they were given to us. Oh, they have this many as pets? We have to have 10,000 hours experience with these animals to be permitted. Wow. And so we have the understanding how to take care of them and raise them. And right now you're gonna have your shoe untied. Yeah, it's okay. That it's just, is a superpower. Just, it's just Target. They are the untire of shoes. Yep, I can see that. Since they're rodents, are uh -huh. they considered pests? No, not like you would think a rat or a mouse. They're not as numerous. Yeah. And where they live, it's really, uh, they're not good with people. So they don't live in neighborhoods or they live out where you'd find foxes and um, coyotes <laughs> yeah. and things like that. Mm -hmm. How come so many, like so few people have seen them? Yeah. Zoos are starting to get them. So there's animals like pacas and maras and little known creatures that you're just starting to see more of because they do well in a petting zoo sort of situation. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is our Patagonian petting zoo. Wow. Oh my god, they're all just they chewing. Love Grant. They get all up in your junk. And their you, legs are so yeah. tiny. Their yeah. ears Bitty. and eyes make them look like New York squirrels. If yeah. a deer had toes, that's what it would look like. That's awesome. It's like if a deer took his shoes off. So do they get along with like guinea pigs and? No. Mm -mm. no, no. They would dominate anything they're bigger than. Mm -hmm. And they even try to dominate each other. We have one female, four males, and she is the boss of all of them. Oh, boss lady. She is the boss lady. This is the cutest thing. This is Look, so cute. Look, sit up, little Mara, sit up. <laughs> You're eating my hat. <laughs> I'll eat your hat, watch out. <laughs> Other than hats, what else do they eat? <laughs> you can see in the cage we've got a lot of oat hay, so they eat mm. grass, love grass. In fact, one of the things, you know, we have people come do projects for us, one of the things we're gonna do is put in a sod garden because green grass is their favorite food. Green um, grass? Yeah, and then we feed things like guinea pig pellets, we feed, um, they need vitamin C, so we do peppers and oranges, um, all kinds of good stuff. Anything loaded with vitamin C is good. Maybe we could... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Mara, I had to. You want to go on a date sometime? <laughs> want to hang out? Hey, hey, don't walk away from me. Hey. I, I just asked you, want to hang out with Come me? Come back, New York squirrel, deer, guinea hey. pig, horse. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, uh, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of like special, unique survival traits they, do they have? Speed. Speed. They are so lightning fast. And how do they communicate with each other? Um, through grunts and squeaks, and I call it calling the mothership. To me, it yeah. sounds like alien speak. <laughs> and uh, I'm expecting a spaceship to land any day to take them back home. They're so tolerant. Like, they'll let you touch them in any way if you just let them chew on your exactly. clothes. Like... If you will let them chew your clothes off, they are your friend. <laughs> hey, don't! The tickles! I'm scared! <laughs> they love Grant. They love Grant and they Grant look like has good pheromones. Shirt. You guys want to know a super fact? Let's yes. Turn the camera off. Okay. <gasps> what? Let's turn the camera off. Oh like, no! He says battery change. Cut! 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 That was that was very impressive. Come get a snack. Hey, we got snacks over here. Hey. Are you the cool kids? You gonna hang out with? Us? You want some crunchy stuff? Oh my gosh! I didn't know there was a little pig. <laughs> he was sniffing my back this entire time. Here's Johnny. <laughs> okay, you guys want an interesting fact yes, to end on? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so the boy Mara mm -hmm. has the ability to pull his testicles up into a tube. Like a, a rabbit can do the same thing. So when we originally went to go see what these were, we thought we had girls. And in fact, we had two boys. So they tied their own so, tubes? <laughs> I'm trying to imagine this. They have the ability to hide their junk. It's this. Ah! Wow. Why? How do they hide it and why do they do this? Probably because some a vet was feeling around back there and he thought that was just a little too friendly for his comfort. Fact. Don't tell your parents about that fact. This has been a blast. I've never seen yeah. these animals before. It feels like you're meeting a new group of kids yeah. like they're climbing all over you and they chew on your stuff. It's very real. Well, I thank you ladies for letting them chew on your stuff. All right, well, should we should we sing a little yeah. song, a Mara song let's to them? Sing a, let's sing, yeah. Two Maras, two Maras, we, we love you. Two Maras, you, you hang out with, with the, the sad party, party girls. Not these, not these guys, because they think they're too cool for us, and they just stand there and judge us, just like my dad. Wow, what the heck was that, man? Dude, they were really cute. My no, I actually I'm a teenage love girl them. right now yes. on Tumblr. Oh my ah! god! I'm dying! <laughs> um, what was your favorite moment? That one, 
like was just up in my lap eating the drawstring of my hat, but I was able to just like pet it and yeah. enjoy its presence. What was your favorite part? Oh, my favorite part? Um, just the fact that they don't care about anything. Yeah. They just like, they're literally like the M&M of Rodents. Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Half my one of my shoelaces is gone. Look, bye, 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 bye. shoelace. That's inside of Mara right now. You but we me. also learned so much animal tracks yes, about we did. Maras. Well, let's do our three, three things, things we, we know we know, we know about, about Maras. They're kind of like Pokemon, where it's like they're the second evolution, where there's guinea pigs, mm -hmm. there's Maras, the larger one, and then there's capybaras, which is actually the world's largest rodent. They're just kind of like the happy medium in between those two. And that's kind of what they look like, which is so crazy. And the second thing that we learned about Mara is that there are many of them in Patagonia. Yes. Third thing, they pretty much ate our camera people. Yeah. They, they, love they were chewing on Robin's hair and they were literally all over Grant. Seriously. A little jealous. At one point, like Grant had like three or four Maras like <laughs> yeah. all over him. Like they yeah. were licking him and like trying to like poke holes into his yeah. shirt. They wanted the GoPro. Yeah, that they did. Cool. Yeah. That was crazy. So yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was so cool meeting Stacy and like seeing Animal Tracks for the first time. I hope we go there again. Yeah, that's a great field yes. trip. And if you want to meet them, you can click the link in the description below and you can experience the same thing we did today. Yeah. yeah. And guys, please comment down below what other animals you want mm -hmm. us to meet because yes. we will go out and we'll meet them. And please like and subscribe. And yeah. thank you guys so much for watching our brand yeah, new show. Yeah, we hope you like it. This is so exciting for us. Yes, like, we get to meet creatures that aren't people. Yeah, this is so cool. So thank you guys so much. Yeah. Whoa, we, we gotta, gotta go. Thanks again to Wendy's and their new giant junior bacon cheeseburger, available for a limited time only.